Hi, I'm Joyce Polino Crane. I'm the news director at Westford Cat. I am here today with Megan Kane and Aiden and Connor Lacoste. O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Aiden and Connor O'Donnell, who are the nephews of, tell us, Aiden, who? Kevin Lacoste. Kevin Lacoste. And Connor, what grade are you in? Third. And Aiden? I'm going into fifth. Third and fifth. And Megan, you are the best friend of Lori O'Donnell, who yes. is, tell us who she is. Lori is Kevin's sister. Yes, and Kevin, unfortunately, was injured uh, in mid-July and has a spinal cord injury that um, has brought this town together in the hopes of helping him. And what we're doing in Westford is raising a lot of money to help Kevin and his family, his two children and a wife. So can you tell us a little bit about some of the um, fundraising events that have been going on? Sure, there are a lot of fundraising events going on. The communities of Westford and Chelmsford have both been amazing coming together to support Kevin and his family. Um, I'm going to put me on the spot to try and think of everything, but um, We've got our, our we have our list. cheat list. Um, right there. there have been lots of lemonade stands and um, fundraisers locally that just children that Kevin has had or that um, Kevin's parents or friends with have put on, and those have raised hundreds of dollars. Um, there is a fundraiser coming up at Westford Swim and Tennis at the outdoor club called Laps for Lacoste. Oh yes. And that's a swim-a-thon and a, a splash contest. And tickets can be purchased at the outdoor club for $10 for the admission. And then when you come on the day of the fundraiser, which is Sunday, August 25th from Very 4 good. to 7. Yeah, that was my next um, question. Yep, <laughs> you can you know, decide if you're gonna swim or do the splash contest or both. And there's donations for that as well as raffle items. Um, Aviva Trattoria has been huge um, with the community, with helping Kevin and his family. They have donated the pizzas for the Laps for Lacoste event. They also sent meals over to um, Kevin and Allie's children and Allie's parents, and they also provided gift cards for the family as well. Wow. Um, people, I could talk about so many different people who have come to help the family, it's amazing. Um, the Tiny's fundraiser. Which took place, wait, today's August 13th. Yes. And that took place last, last night, night, August 12th. And from what we're hearing from Nancy Cook, who the, was the coordinator of that, is that they raised $10,000. It's phenomenal. Which is amazing. Yeah. Um, there is a reading and lemonade stand event, or reading and lemonade at the Town Common. And that's this on August Thursday, 15th. August 15th. Um, what else do we have coming up? There's a, Orange Theory is doing a workout on Saturday the 17th called Burning for a Cause at noon. And anybody can drop in 14 years and older for $25. Yeah, donation. I need that, <laughs> I need that one. <laughs> um, and that's only the ones coming up. And the big one, of course, is the run that Scott Middle Misses Foundation puts on oh, yes. um, in September. And, and tell us who Scott Middlemas is. Do you guys want to say who Scott Middlemas is? Um, Scott Middlemas, I think, is an assistant principal for Robinson School. And his son had died, and they did um, a bunch of fundraisers for him. And now it happened to Kevin, so they're doing a bunch of fundraisers for him. And yes. he's a good friend of Kevin's, right? Yeah, and yeah. he's a really good friend of Kevin's. And before we, we forget, Tell us what you guys did, because that's why you're here today. So me and Connor thought of the idea of doing a lemonade stand to raise money for our uncle, yeah. to help him with the medical bills and all that stuff. Well, that was very nice. How did it go? It, it um, went really good. Yeah, what happened, Connor? Just tons of people came down, the Chelmsford police and the fireman came down. They all came down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how much did you raise, Aiden? We raised $5,026.30. I'm gonna fall off my chair. <laughs> that is a lot of money for selling lemonade. Yeah. And baked goods too, right? Yeah, and baked goods. And baked goods. And that's because everybody just came together to help, do you think? Yeah. And you are the ones that made that happen. 
Yeah. What I thought was amazing is that before we even started, we raised three hundred dollars. Really? From donations. In donations, did people just call you up or come by, or people had... just came by and they just kept donating money. And that was in Chelmsford, right? Yeah, this was in Chelmsford. Amazing. Yeah. And earlier in the week in Chelmsford, some folks put on a big yard sale, and that raised a lot of money too, didn't it? Yeah. 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 That raised seven hundred sixty dollars. Awesome. Wow, you're awesome. good with numbers. They are. They're very bright boys. <laughs> and then also earlier in the day, the day of the lemonade stand, um, the folks at CrossFit 110 put on a workout for Kevin where yeah. people could come and work out and do a workout that honored him and his family to raise money. And there were three different work, it was offered at three different times and they raised, I think, close to $2,000 for that. That is just remarkable, Yeah, really. So tell us how you know the family. Sure, so um, we're good friends with the O'Donnells and we were actually on vacation with them when Kevin had his fall, um, oh. which was a really scary phone call to receive. And yeah. um, Craig and Lori, Craig is Lori's husband, mm -hmm. both were out of the house within two minutes and flew down to MGH. And my husband and I and my children were able to stay with Connor and Aiden. Um, right. You have two boys of your own. I have three boys three of my boys own. Yep. <laughs> yep. And um, we just tried to be with them all week to, so they could go to and from the hospital. There was a lot of back and forth yeah. every day um, so that we could just hang with the boys and still let them have their vacation a little bit. Yeah. So Lori and I have been friends, um, I don't know how long, maybe six years or so, and we just are very close friends, and I've gotten to know Kevin and Allie through Craig and Lori, and they have become friends as well. Did you meet, a, how did you meet? We actually met at CrossFit one day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is, um, well, we, I think we had met maybe one or two times before that, but we became close, just we work out together at 5.30 in the morning, and oh, that, there's a whole group of dedication. us actually oh my God. <laughs> who are just as close, yeah. Yeah, oh nice, that's great. What a yeah. Wonderful way to bond. So, um, do we have any updates on Kevin? So, if he does pretty good this week, they're gonna be able to move him into rehab, where he can start trying to get his movement back a little bit. Yeah, that sounds like a wonderful plan, and hopefully yeah. that will happen. We hope so, yeah. yeah. Is he is he's still at? Uh, He's at MGH. Yep. You were just saying in the car on the way here. What were you saying about MGH? We were saying that um, that the doctors did a really good job, and that they loved all the baked goods so that they, we gave them. Yeah, they donated nice. the rest of the baked goods from the lemonade stand to the nurses and at, doctors at, at Mass General at Mass Hospital. General. Oh, yes. that's so nice. Yeah. Was there anything else you want to tell us before we end this? Um, I just, so I guess I'll say on behalf of Lori and Craig and Allie and Kevin, they are completely overwhelmed and f so thankful for the support that the communities of West Freddy and Chelmsford and beyond. In fact, Kevin was a principal in another surrounding town and people have come out from all over the place to support them and they are so thankful and in awe of everybody in Westford and Chelmsford who and beyond who have helped out um, in the race, I just want to mention, did we write the date? It's the end of September is, for, we, um, we did talk about that. The Big Heart. Uh, yes, on September 28th, the 6th okay. annual Middle Miss Big Heart 5K. Mm -hmm. um, the Lacoste family are going to be race beneficiaries, so a lot of the money raised will be going to them. So we would love it if people could get teams together and sign up for that race. It'll be a lot of fun. Wonderful. And then let's not forget that there's the GoFundMe campaign yes. at gofundme.com mm -hmm. and I checked it this morning I think they're at over hundred and fifty thousand. It's amazing now. it's amazing and if people want to help out more on Facebook there's uh, Kevin's Army Facebook page that you can ask to join it's a closed group but anybody can join I, I and then join it. okay yeah. and then on there is the link to lots of helping hands which we put together um, so that we can keep track of all of the fundraising efforts um, there's a meal train already on there, which meals are taking care of so far for the rest of August, all of September, and halfway into October. Wonderful. There's still dates available in October, November, and December. Um, and we'll put anything on there that the family needs in terms of help, and people can go right on that site and sign up to help in whatever way they can. That's, that's great. Yeah. Thanks, Megan, for 
You're this welcome. has changed your life too, and you've stepped right up to the plate. I'm just there to help as much as I can, yes. as well as there's a whole team of us that are helping in any way we can. And so before we go, I want you guys to show us your shirts. And what do they say? This is the Joseph Milmes shirts that he gives us um, because we did, we got a good deed award from him. Oh, that's right. Why don't you tell her about that? Uh, yeah, we got a good deed award from him. So he was he came to the lemonade stand with his with daughter his, and his son, Jack and, and Grace, uh -huh. and his wife. Mm -hmm. um, and Jack had a heart transplant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Jack had a heart transplant, that's right. And he gave you an award mm -hmm. for community service and helping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And they gave you the T-shirts, too, right? Yeah. Yep. They gave us a whole um, cinch bag with, like, a cone yeah. and T-shirts and a medal. Wonderful. I'm yeah. so glad. And we'll be looking for that event, too, when yes. it comes up closer to um, September. September 28th. Yep. And I'm sure I missed some, so I apologize if I missed some. There have just been so many. And, you know, people going, doing things on their own that aren't even advertised. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're going we're gonna to keep tabs on this, and we're, we'll post dates and events online at westfordcatnews.org. And so um, we'll put that on the screen and uh, we'll help everybody out. Okay. So for Westford Cat News, this is Joyce Polino Crane. Have a wonderful day.